then from there, you know, we were able to come back in and continue on um, with that momentum. How much of an identity is that second unit building? I mean, they've been really good for you guys uh, in several games recently. It's kind of getting to the point now where you expect them to be good. You know, you're, you're depending on them uh, to be good. They've, they've been fantastic all year. Um, you know, and they're, you know, they're, it's, it's becoming, you know, a staple of this team. You know, we, we talk about other teams' second unit. We talk about the Lakers' second unit and how much of a push they give them, the Clippers' second unit. And, you know, I think if this unit can continue to play well, you know, they'll put themselves in that category. But, you know, we need them to continue to play like that. It's been great for us. Uh, hi, Draymond. Carlos Ramirez, NBC Bay Area and Telemundo. Steve just said that he knows at some point your offense will get to the point you wanted it to be. Three-pointer today, a couple of layups. Where do you think your offense is right now, and where do you want it to be? Uh, I mean, I just have to stay aggressive. Um, you know, and as I continue to play more and more aggressive, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be theirs. Um, you know, that's not something I really think too much about, to be honest with you. Draymond, what did you think of Kelly's impact tonight? He was great. Uh, he was great on both sides of the ball, especially during that second half. He was amazing defensively. Uh, an entire game, he was great offensively. You know, he's he's really finding his confidence. You know, he's finding his way on his team. He's knocking shots down now, uh, which is huge. Um, but he's also slashing in the lane more. You know, I think and I think that's been great for him. You know, he's getting to the basket, and it's not like you know he's getting there with just someone helping him. You know, he's putting his head down and getting to the cup. So. Uh, you know, huge game for us tonight. We need them to continue to build on that. Draymond, how do you how do you help this? Um, Marcus Thompson. What's What's up, up, sir? <laughs> how do you how do you help James Wiseman uh, not let this like be a problem? Like the struggles he had tonight, you can see him getting frustrated. How do you how do you not make that like build up on him in a bad way? Uh, just continue to teach him. You know, um, you know, I think we all know, you know, at times it gets frustrating, uh, you know, when the game's not going your way. I can only imagine how frustrating it can be for a 19-year-old uh, who hasn't really been through much in life at all, you know. And so, um, you know, it'll be fine. Uh, you know, nobody's really worried about it. It's just the game needs to slow down for him. He has to slow down. And that'll happen over time, you know. I don't think... That happened for anyone as fast as we all want it to happen for him. But, it, you know, it'll happen. He just got to stay the course, continue to stay aggressive. That's the most important thing, I think, for me. I just want him to stay aggressive, uh, you know, because the reality is if he stays aggressive, he'll learn how to read when someone's setting up for a charge. He'll learn how to read when a guy is pulling over from the weak side and he's there to take the charge or the Mark Gasol one where he kind of knew the entire time he was taking the charge, he'll start to see those pictures. And so most importantly, uh, I just want him to stay aggressive. He'll figure out the rest of it later. All right, we'll discuss more of James Wiseman's game tonight against the Lakers. And of course, we'll remember Martin Luther King Jr. here on this special day. That's all coming up here on Sportsnet Central, Warriors Edition, presented by Toyota.